Hey guys, I'm going to see Men in Black 3 today, so, well, I'm going in two hours, so I've got a little bit of a wait, but anyway, I'm quite excited for this film. I mean, it's kind of got a bit mixed reviews, but as long as it's better than Men in Black 2, it should be fine. I liked Men in Black 2, I thought it was okay. If it wasn't for Frank the Pug, uh, it would have been nothing, but I'm hoping... It's good. I kind of, I want it to have plenty of action, lots of comedy, because I like comedy, and I, I want the villain to be good, because Men in Black 2, the villain was rubbish. So I really want this Boris creature, whatever he is, to be a good villain, you know? So, see you soon. <gasps> Hello, just watched Men in Black 3. Now. Before the review, I've got to get the suit on. Okay, not quite what I wanted, but let's start the review. Before we start reviewing the film, I thought I'd just talk to you about, well, the lack of reviews. So far, I have only watched four 2012 films, and that was The Muppets, Chronicle, The Avengers, and, well, this. And Chronicle and The Avengers will be coming soon, so expect that in the future. So, without further ado, let's do this. I love Men in Black. I loved the first one, and yes, get over it, I liked the second one despite its many flaws. So when I sat down, I was really expecting Men in Black 3 to be like the second one, but better. But not only is this film better than Men in Black 2, I wouldn't be embarrassed to say that Men in Black 3 is just as good as the first film. So what makes the film good? I really think in this film, they focused more on the characters than the plot. Some people say that's bad, but seeming as though the villain in Men in Black 2 was appalling, it's nice to see an improved and much better villain. Griffin was also a great addition to the third film, and I also liked how they developed J and K, especially towards the end, and that I will not spoil. Performance-wise, I think Will Smith and Tom Lee Jones are still great as the lead roles, and Josh Brolin was brilliant at Young Agent K. Not only did he have the voice, but he had the mannerisms as well, and it felt as if he really was a young Tommy Lee Jones. Yes, Frank the Pug isn't in this one, and the worm people are given a smaller role, but this doesn't stop Men in Black from being a fun movie. Boris was a creepy and gross villain, Will Smith is still funny, and Josh Brolin gives the best performance in the film. Men in Black 3 isn't Oscar worthy, but I give the film cool-tastic. Watch this film or I'll neuralise you.